implement DHCP before. Addressing table, three routers, R1, R2, R3. Okay, these routers, two PCs, two PCs, a DNS server, and two public servers. Configure a router as a DHCP server. Configure the excluded IP before addresses. Configure R2 to exclude the first 10 addresses from the R1 and R3 LANs. All other addresses should be available in the DHCP address pool. Okay, R2 will be the DHCP server for this network, for R1 LAN network, and for and R2 also will be the DHCP server for this another network. Okay, the R3 LAN network. Okay, so on R2, okay, access R2, click here. Command line interface. Enter, enable, configure terminal. Exclude the first 10 addresses from R1 LAN. Okay, this is the network 192.168.10.24. Exclude the first 10 host addresses of this network. Go back R2, AP DHCP excluded address from 192.168.10.1 to 192.168.10.10. Okay, from 10.1 to 10.10. Okay, enter. And exclude the first 10 addresses from R R3 LAN. Okay, this is R3 LAN, 192.168.0024. Exclude the first 10. Okay, repeat the previous command and use from 0.1 to 0.10. Enter. Create the HCP pool on R2 for R1 LAN. Okay, for this LAN. Okay, this, this network. Uh, Create the HCP pool name it R1-LAN. Okay, the pool name must match this value. Okay, case sensitive. Okay, go to R2, IP DHCP pool, and R1-LAN. Enter. Okay, configure the HCP pool to include network address. This is the network address 182.168.10.024. Network 192.168.10.24 is 255.255.255.0. Enter. The default gateway. The default gateway for this network is this gigabit 00 on R1. And what is the IP address of gigabit 00 on R1? Is 192.168.10.1. Okay, go to R2. Default dash router 192.168.10.1. Enter. Okay, and IP address of DNS server. Okay, this is the DNS server, and this is the IP address of DNS server 182.168.20.254. Okay, go to R2, DNS-server 182.168.20.254, enter. Okay, create the HCP pool on R2 for R3 LAN. Create the HCP pool name at R3-LAN. Okay, sensitive. Okay. IP DHCP pool R3 dash LAN. K okay, sensitive. Enter. Okay, add, uh, configure the HCP pool to include the network address. This is the network address uh, 182.168.30.024. Okay. Go to R2. Network 192.168.30.0 and 24 is 255, 255, 255, 0. Enter. The default gateway. Okay. The default gateway of this network, of this subnet, the default gateway is gigabit 00 on R3. And gigabit 00 on R3 is 192.168.30.1. Okay. Go to R2. Default router 192.168.30.1. Enter. And finally, the DNS server. It's the same D DNS server because there is only one DNS server. 
O2 R2. And the DNS server is DNS dash server 192.168.20.254. Enter. Configure DHCP relay. Configure R1 and R3 as a DHCP relay agent. Okay. Okay, configure the relay on R1 for this network. Okay, but configure on gigabit 00 on R1 because gigabit 00 will receive all the DHCP requests. Okay, gigabit 00 will receive all DHCP requests. So go to R1. And command line interface, enter, enable, configure terminal interface, you have zero zero. IP helper, helper dash address. Okay, and R1 should point the server, and the server is R2, and should point serial 000 on R2. Okay, serial 000 on R2 is 10.1.1.2. Okay, go to R1. IP helper address 10112. Okay. Enter. Very nice exit. And now for R3. Okay, R3. On R3, uh, the agent, the relay agent for this network, and configure on R3 gigabit 00. zero. Because gigabit 00 will receive all the DHCP requests. Okay, go to R3. Command line interface, enter, enable, configure terminal interface gigabit 00, IP helper dash address. And R3 should point the R2 DHCP server and should point serial 001 on R2. Serial 001 on R2 is 10222. Okay, go to R3, 10222. Enter. Exit. Okay, and now set PC1 and PC2 to receive IP addressing information from DHCP. We go to PC1, desktop, IP configuration, DHCP. Okay, very nice. When I do 168.10.11, okay, go to R2. And excluded addresses from 1 to 10, so you will receive the next, that is 10.11. Subnet mask, subnet mask, default gateway, default router, and DNS server, DNS server. Very good. Go to PC2. Desktop IP DHCP. Okay, very good. Theory that 11. Okay, and finally, configure R2 as a DHCP client. Configure gigabit 01 interface on R2 to receive IP addressing from DHCP. Okay, and on R2, configure uh, gigabit uh, 01 interface to receive an IP address. Uh, from the DHCP. The DHCP is placed here on Internet Cloud and you will receive an IP address on gigabit 01 on R2. Okay, and go to R2, exit. Okay, uh, global configuration mode, interface gigabit 01, enter, and IP address DHCP, enter. And, okay, the, the, don't forget to enable the interface. Okay, this uh, red indicator is, uh, this red indicator, the, the interface is shut down. So use no shutdown command, enter. And you will see this, uh, this uh, green indicator. And wait a moment because this orange indicator should be green. Okay. And wait a moment. Okay. Don't forget to act activate the interface with no shutdown command on R2. 
on interface gigabit 01, IP address DHCP, no shutdown. Okay. Okay, and wait a moment for the green indicator here. Okay. Okay, and you will see this log, DHCP address assigned, interface gigabit 01 assigned, DHCP address 209.165.200.254. And the mask is 255, 255, 255, 224. Okay, enter and review and show IP interface brief. Enter. And you will see gigabit here, 1, 209, 165, 200, 254. And the method is DHCP status our protocol app. Very good. Okay, and verify connectivity from PC1. Uh, that, uh, close this uh, common prompt ping uh, pc2 pc2 ip address pc2 ip address is 30.11 ping 192168 30.11 okay ping from pc1 to pc2 success ping to cisco.com Ping triple w cisco.com. Okay, may take uh, a while. Okay, because uh, for DNS translation. Success. And now the another side, ping to triple w publicsite.com and success completion 100% thank you very much